Hi, I'm Jamie Malone of Forthcoming Fruit Restaurant in Minneapolis. And today we're gonna make a traditional Spanish tort with my little twist on it, which is smoked salmon. So this is a really simple recipe with just a few things of mise en place to prepare. The first thing we'll do is start with the onion. So you definitely wanna go really thin. Great trick is to use a Japanese mandolin. You just have to be very careful because it's easy to cut yourself. Next step, we have our washed potatoes. We're gonna slice these as well, um, a little bit thicker than we did with the onions. The last bit of slicing and dicing we need to do is with the smoked salmon. And the smoked salmon, we're just gonna cut in thin strips. A lot of recipes will tell you to crack an egg on the side of a bowl. I just like to crack it on a flat surface. And whisk them up. All right, that's it. Our mise en place is done and we can start cooking. Our next step, we're gonna cook the potatoes and the onions. The first step is just to heat the oil and you're looking for a little bit of a shimmer on top. Um, and it's just, you wanna see some movement in the oil. That's a good sign that it's hot enough. And I'm gonna arrange uh, the potatoes so they're in even layers that'll help the oil cover them. So I have the potatoes here with just enough oil to cover them and we're gonna cook them about six to eight minutes. You can see the oil is just gently bubbling. That's exactly what you want. That's gonna get them soft and tender. And you might get a few little pieces with some crisp spots as well, which is a great thing. You'll sort of know that the potatoes are ready to go once you can start to pierce them with a fork. We're gonna add the onions and keep cooking them. So just when they start to get tender is, is when we're ready to move on to the next step. And now I'm ready to add my onions. It's really important you don't want any color on these onions. If you start to see them getting any color, just turn the heat down a little bit. And I'm just gonna let those cook about another four minutes. So my potatoes and onions are ready. And I can tell because the onions are translucent, the potatoes are translucent. Some of them are breaking apart a little bit and that's fine. And some of them are getting a little color on the potato and a little crisp and that's fine too. My next step is to drain the potatoes and onions of the oil. And I'm gonna save this oil. We're gonna use it again in a couple minutes. Now we're gonna combine all of our ingredients. Pinch of salt, Julia Child pinch. Get everything really evenly distributed. That's ready to go. And I have about three tablespoons of the reserved oil in the pan, and I've got the heat cranked. It's really important to get this pan hot enough. You wanna brown the eggs and potatoes a little bit once they hit the, hit the pan, and that's gonna help release the whole torta from the pan as well. Okay, my oil's hot, I'm ready for the next step. I'm gonna carefully put my potato egg mixture in the pan, spread it out so you get a nice even layer. You're gonna have some of that oil coming up on the sides and over the top, that's just fine too, that's gonna help cook the sides. And I'm just gonna allow this to cook on high heat until I see the edges start to brown. Um, the center is still needs to cook a little bit. I'm going to transfer it to the oven and let it finish. Maybe about five minutes, just until those eggs are cooked all the way through. Okay, while our torta is finishing in the oven, we're going to make a little salad to go alongside with it. We have spinach here. Um, I have ingredients for a vinaigrette. We start with the vinegar. Just pour a little bit. Uh, once the greens are coated with the vinegar, you can add your oil. Salt, sugar is kind of the magic ingredient in any vinaigrette as far as I'm concerned. And again, a little black pepper. Okay, my torch is ready. And I can tell because when I push in the center, it kind of springs back at me. First thing we're gonna do is get rid of just a little bit of that excess oil. Just pour a little bit of it off. I have a platter big enough for my pan. Yeah, it didn't look cool while I did it, but it worked. We're ready to slice our torta. Um, you can see there's some darker spots on the top. Dark spots is a good thing with a Spanish torta. So to serve the torta, I have my slices, and I'm just gonna flip it back so my brown side is on the bottom. And you can see all the nice layers of the potatoes, the salmon, and the onions, and a side of spinach salad. Yeah.